Hello all, welcome to part 37 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to run Cucumber tests using Maven. So let's get started. Till the previous sessions, we are running the Cucumber tests using the runner class where the runner class is invoking the feature files and feature files are invoking the step definitions, right? But in this session, I'm going to show you how to run the Cucumber test in this Maven project using Maven. So let's switch to the practical mode now. So here you can see the runner class guys, which is actually invoking the feature files under this feature pa features package. And once this runner class invokes, with the help of JNIT, we are running actually, okay? With the help of JNIT, we are running the test. Okay, JNIT is invoking these feature files using the via this runner class and feature files are invoking the step definition files and step definition files are invoking the implemented methods inside them for each and every step of these feature files. Okay, that's how the tests are running so far. But what I'm going to teach you now is or practically show you now is, okay, how to use Maven to run this test instead of uh, JNIT and all. Okay, JNIT or runner class. So for that guys, I'll right click on this project and select run as option. And when you say run as option, we'll get all this Maven options here. Okay. So why we are getting this Maven options in Eclipse ID by default, Maven plugin is already installed. We don't have to separately install. Okay. In the latest versions of Eclipse ID, Maven plugin comes by default guys. Okay. So that's the reason when you right click on this project and select run as you'll get Maven options also. Okay. In Eclipse ID. Now I need to select this Maven test. Okay. In order to run this uh, uh, test in the project with the help of Maven, I have to select this uh, right click on the project run as and select Maven test. But unfortunately, when I select the option, the test will not run. We'll see that none of these feature file scenarios will run now. We'll see that. Okay. Just wait. So it says build success, but did you see any uh, feature file scenarios running? No, right? They have not run. So what's the problem? The problem is there are few rules. Okay. If you want to run this project with the help of Maven and uh, run the test in this project with the help of Maven, there are a few rules. That is, uh, whatever the files, Java files that you want to run with the help of Maven should be having a test keyword either at the beginning of the Java file or at the end of the Java file name. Okay. So for example, if you want to run this login.java, okay, then test keyword should be there before the login or either after the login. Okay. Similarly, Okay, so th there are four Java files here. As you can see in this project, we have myrunner.java, we have login.java, register.java, and search.java. Test keyword should be there either at the beginning or ending of this file names. But here, to run all this, to invoke all these feature files, which Java file we are using? myrunner.java file we are using. So if you update this name of this myrunner to either test myrunner or myrunner test or whatever it is, okay, add the test keyword. Okay, instead of my, I just put test. That's also fine. Okay, test runner or runner test, whatever you want to do. Okay, just rename this uh, class, guys. Okay, class name here. Instead of my, I'll write test runner. Okay. So if the Java file name doesn't have the test keyword either at the beginning or ending of the test, Maven will not be able to identify, guys. Okay. So hover the mouse on this test runner and rename the file to test runner dot Java. You can even put this test uh, keyword after the runner also. That also will work. Okay. Now, simply I'm putting the test keyword at the beginning. Uh, the naming looks good, test runner, okay? Or runner test, any name you can give, that's, that's okay until we have this test keyword in the beginning and ending of the file, class file name. So here also the file name got changed to test runner. Whatever the class name I changed, the file name also got changed to test runner. Now I simply right click this time and one more rule is there, okay? First rule is, uh, you see, you should have the, uh, this uh, whatever the classes should run, right? The class should have the test as a keyword. Second rule is that go to form.xml file. Since we have created this project with the help of, uh, we have created this Maven project by using a Maven quick start, a Maven archetype quick start uh, template. So all these things have come by default. Most of the things in this form.xml uh, XML file have come by default, including this, uh, this build and plugin section, okay? Plugin section. In the plugin section, under the plugins, there should be Maven Surefire plugin available. Okay, if not, Maven will not be able to run this uh, required Java file having the test keyword. Okay, 
So here you see there is something like Maven Surefire plugin. Okay, there's a Maven Surefire plugin. So if this is not there in your uh, plugins section of your form.xml file, you have to add it, guys. Okay, you can get it from online, guys. Just search Maven Surefire plugin. You will okay. You can get it from online. Okay, Maven Surefire plugin. Just search it online, guys. And uh, just go to this website and uh, scroll down. If you're not getting anything, uh, just go to other one. Let's see what is there here. This is a MVN repository. That's okay. Mm, palm. Okay. I'll say palm. I'll just click on this. Now it's coming. Uh, the moment I added this palm keyword, so this Maven Surefire plugin, I'm getting this a different example. Guys. Usage uh, page is coming. In the usage page, as you can see, you see, you can copy this part. Okay, you can copy this part, guys. Okay, or if you don't have this uh, Maven Surefire plugin in your uh, format XML file, you can copy from here. That's okay. You can copy from here. Okay. So, fine. Once you have this Maven Surefire plugin in the uh, inside the uh, what do you call or uh, the build, okay, plugin section of this format XML file. Okay, once you have that. Do one thing, right click on this project and select run as Maven test. Okay, this time it should run. Okay, this time we have the test keyword in the runner class. Only the Java files having the test keyword will be running in the beginning or ending will be running. This login register and such will be indirectly invoked. Okay, because runner class will uh, invoke the feature files, feature files will invoke the step definition classes, step definition classes will, you see, tests are running. You see, here if you are getting this test option and uh, you see earlier only we got uh, build successful and all. But this time you got test and running the test, test runner. Okay, test runner has run. Okay, runner dot test runner has run with the help of Maven because we have named the Java file to test runner's Java file to test runner. Okay, and once you run it, you see all the all the all these things got uh, you know. So here it is clearly saying test run is equal to 14, 14 tests. Okay, from all these feature files, fourteen scenarios from all these feature files have run with the help of Maven guys. So hope guys you understood how to run the test uh, the cucumber projects using Maven. Okay, in this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.